What's going on, Taylor? <laughs> it's your boy Dre. And it's not morning. It's not, it's not afternoon. Yeah. It's nighttime. We actually we just got out of seeing Hellboy. Thursday. Is it, is it just called Hellboy? Is it Hellboy. just the name? It's just, it's just, Hell, just, just Hellboy. Hellboy. Just Hellboy. Uh, Thursday night, 7 p.m. We were in the uh, theater. theater. Well, when I say packed, I mean packed full of chairs. Yeah, it was like um, I counted eight or to ten people along with us in there. Yeah. Um, very spread out. Very. Very um, quiet. Um, let's just start off with. I mean, so I mean, by the time you've seen this thing, I'm, I'm gonna try to get this out like that night. So no, but I'm saying by the time you've seen this, a lot of people have already seen it, and a lot of people yes. have already put their reviews. There hasn't been many too many spoilers, um, but that wouldn't even ruin too much. But there's already like a lot of feedback already. Um, so I'll, I'll me me get top on there. Um, spoilers. Spoiler alert. There are no spoilers. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Nothing to spoil in this movie. Go on, Dre. Tell me what you thought. Um, to be honest with you, I'm to be very be honest with you, just, just go straight off the bat. Uh, I didn't think it was that bad. There are some key things, though, I would have changed. Um, specifically, uh, throw up psychic, and that'll make more sense if you see the movie. Yeah. That did not work. And, and it might be right out the comics. That might be like, like oh, this is exactly how it is from the comic books. Mm hmm. I still think they could have uh, made that where it doesn't seem like so like it that what happens vomit psychic is just like you're so or at least for me I was so distracted by like is that really what they came up with like then, somebody then in the writer room <laughs> someone's well, in the room she, had, like, she like, had that that power and also the power to apparently hit somebody and then their soul leaves like that even I get that. But the vomit psychic part, it just seems like, okay, let's change this to make it, let me she throws up, and then something like, it was so distracting to me, it's like, oh my god, why? Alright, but honestly, um, what I did like about it, and I'll say this, that, because I saw the original Hellboy and liked it with Ron Perlman, Ron Perlman. And, the first two, um, Hellboy. The, the, first the, only, two the only two Hellboys that were out, Yeah, there's two. And I've seen the cartoons too, um, the cartoons never really did it for me, but I actually enjoyed the first Hellboy, what I liked about this is it, it felt like if you saw the first Batman movie, uh, Batman, and then the fourth one, which was Batman Robin, mm -hmm. like how they each, even though they're all based on the exact same character, they each had their own, like, different, very different take on it. Like, it didn't feel like, oh, this is trying to be this, or this okay. is not trying to be this. It just felt like they took the source material and ran with it, and, like, it was not, like, if the first set of movies didn't exist, you would know, like, if you didn't know, like, because it, it felt like its own thing. Um, so I, I really like that uh, it it because I I went in like kind of remembering the old Hellboy and then like yeah. it really helped me like in the first like forty five minutes I forget that 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 this is not that it really helped me like okay there there went there like the very first like the cir the second word in the film was like fuck right okay like, oh yeah they didn't curse in the old movie so it really like did so set apart yeah so the R rating for this movie is for cussing that seemed to be almost. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't jump in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so the R rating was, um, to me, was for cussing that was forced to be, oh yeah, let's be edgy and cuss. Um, and the violence. Violence is cool, that's what's fine. But I think the cussing at times was, was pushed. Um, I I think this, can be, I, I you, you can't watch this movie without Thinking back to the original, the well, the only two that we that are out there to watch. Oh, yeah. Um, with Guillermo del Toro was the as the director, throwing all of his monsters on there, all of his fiction, all of those those memorable monsters and stuff, and the characters that were there, um, the the dialogue as well. So this one, I felt the the story was everywhere. Like they <laughs> like they wrote themselves into so many corners that they decided just to say, okay, well then. Never mind that. Let's go somewhere else. And, and there were just so many things that I, honestly, I at times, twice, I found myself close my eyes because I was almost like I was so like falling asleep because I was like, oh, it's taking forever. <laughs> this movie is two hours. I looked at the clock at eight minutes till we saw at seven. So eight minutes, but eight fifty-two. Look at the clock. There was still a a villain on the screen and a whole lot of story. <laughs> and by nine o'clock, the movie was over. Like, they wrapped shit up quick at the end. Like, that was, like, the third act was not even a whole act. It was, like, a, an act, like, two and a half act play. Um, this movie could have been an hour and a half and still had plot holes in it. I, I was, I was disappointed, a little, uh, disappointed in the movie. And, um, I will give that the practical effects, all of the, uh, the dead, and even, 
I'm gonna say that even some of the trolls were practical effects. It was really cool. I'll give it to that. Um, the makeup for a Hellboy, seeing it closer, numerous throughout the film, um, it, it didn't look right around the eyes. I, I just that was my pet peeve. Like I kept looking around his eyes. I, I said that too. When I saw the yeah. first trailer, I was mm -hmm. like, it just looks like there's something stuck in his ass. He's doing this all day. Yeah. But I, I honestly, when I saw the film though, it didn't, it didn't bother me that much. Okay. Uh, I got. I guess I got you. What really kind of bothered me was like his cheekbone, his right, specifically. And, and this is like I have. This is how bad it should bother you. Specifically, his right cheekbone. It looked like his. It's like it was like his eye was indented and like this was all pushed yeah. out. Yeah. Interesting. And, and it was like that. Just doesn't look that. Just like his left side didn't look. It was just like his right side of his face was like something like that. Just doesn't look right. But I got over it. Like it, it was like uh, the first thing I noticed, and then I kept seeing it. But it's like okay, I'm I'm okay with this, but. I, I would say the effects and like it, it was half half. There was some effects that I thought looked really good and like okay it worked out, mm. and there were some effects like seriously they that needed another take. I'll start off with the very the very first effect that really like that doesn't look we that looks weird like the scorpion. Okay. One of the very first things was scorpion. It just looked like a CG scorpion. Mm -hmm. and it's like what does that look like? You can't tell me that somebody saw that and like like that. That looks like a CG scorpion. There's a scorpion that crawls on Hellboy's head. Yeah, and, that's what he and said. And it, it just about. looked really just like. Like didn't look done well, but then there's other effects that were done really well. So it was kind of like you could tell like this movie was like batting for the fences. It was like okay, put it more swung for the fences. They, they swung for the fences and they like oh now that we're like two thirds away with this duh, done with this, we're fucking out of money. <laughs> Time ended. Yeah. Wrap it up. <laughs> so I don't know what the fuck y'all want to do with the rest of these effects. But you know we can't have a green screen, so you got to do something to make it look like. They could do something. Yeah. So th I really felt like they did that. Uh, like I said, they swung for the fences in a lot of the areas, and it just looked like the like the giant fight. Yeah. Looks so like unpolished, and then yeah. like the camera work and the, like the unpolished look of it was just like the gi the giant you know, fight you saw in the trailer. Yeah. And I saw I, I thought in in that fight there are times when he's throwing things so fucking slow i'm like yeah that that giant could be easy to cut that and like yeah hit the swat it, out of it, just, like, it, it looked very impolished and it was like it, it looked like we had like taken a step back 10 years or even 20 years like that's look that was like a, on par with like the scorpion king um the mummy scorpion king like there was some yeah. fact that this just did not look how i expected what I will say is okay. I like I said there is one of my favorite movies is what I would consider a bad movie, The Spirit. Nice. I really like that movie, but when somebody says that's like one of the worst movies, I can see where they're coming from because it's like yes, there is some fucking problems with that movie. That's how I feel about this movie. Okay. Like the overall, like the 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 backdrop story was good, right? The whole like King Arthur thing. The that was the, that. Uh, even that I, I felt played like. That was there was no A plot. There was all B plots apparently. Yeah. In my thought, there was no really A plot. But like, like, like even from the like even like the very beginning war, yeah. Like oh, and then they chopped her up and they split her. Like okay, I got that. But then like you know who's the boss of the fight? <laughs> like it, it is so obvious. Like okay, yeah. so clearly they to go do find all those parts and bring her back together real quick. And because it, it was like they, they it was like so obvious. Like so when we saw. Uh, so I don't, I don't want to steal your thunder because you reminded me of it, but the the, the, the curse of the golden army, right? Yes. You know the movie's gonna be about the golden army, but yeah. th they didn't like spell it out for you. Mm -hmm. Like they show like these little figurines, and then like when they see it in real life, it's like, oh shit, that's not what I was expecting, and this is playing out much differently. Yeah. This movie didn't do. They should have did something like that where they like he just tells in the story and like maybe shadow figures, mm -hmm. and like it would have played out a little better to me because like. They literally just like, oh, and we chopped our head off and put it in a box, and we split her up. And then, yeah. like, five minutes later, oh, let's go bring it. And the, the first fight that you find was a head. It's like, there should well, be. Well, yeah, the, and the guy who, the, the person, his, her minion who's supposed to find all the par uh, parts of the whatever were actually, they were already, ha he looked like he was, like, three-fourths done with her body. Yeah, like, it was, already. like, no big deal. <laughs> his yeah. troll was going around, and no one noticed that he was fighting. Yeah, and also... And then, like I said, okay, I'll, okay. I'll say about that. So, like, he was fighting all these parts, and then there was that really, this B plot where they were trying to destroy, kill Hellboy the first time. Yeah. It was so out of left field. It was like, wait, what? <laughs> because he was like, oh... Um, so, first, there's the plot, like, okay, so we knew this dude is looking for these body parts that, for this evil witch. And then, like, you go meet these people. There's like an eat, like a. It's supposed to be like a good cult, and like, oh, yeah. 
um, we're gonna go hunt some giants. And then out of nowhere, they like start stabbing. We're also gonna kill you. <laughs> and along with the giants as well. <laughs> and then they get, and we're just like, wait, where do they go? This so, is so weird. This, this, this seemed like in a video game where you have a bunch of NPCs doing like, like fetch quests and side quests that you like, yeah. you, you're going to the main quest, but also you meet these other people that are on the way like to help story progression. But this one wasn't story progression. Also, in the comics, he's supposed to be kept under wraps. He's supposed to, like, even in the, in the other movies, he's supposed to be kept under wraps. No one's supposed to know about him. He's walking around nonchalantly. <laughs> in the beginning, in the in the very first scene, uh, no spoilers, whatever. But, no, I'm saying, the very, very first scene, he shows up in a wrestling environment, and everybody's like, oh, boo Hellboy, whatever, boo Diablo. No eyes batted at the fucking demon walking around in the <laughs> over trench coat. But as soon as the wrestler reveals that he's a vampire, everybody freaks out. Like that's the thing that turns <laughs> to, that's the thing that gets people all weird. But I, uh, but here's the thing. Like he's, you brought up the old movie. Like he's keeping rats, and I understand that. But you got. I thought of it like we're in an age where if fucking I took a piss on the side of the road, there'd I've be 14 him. Twitter videos <laughs> of that by the time I got home. Yeah. So like, you, I think what because he even said like, how did you find me Sh on Twitter? Like we're at a point where like you gotta accept like there's no way of hiding anything yeah. in this in this world, and I understood that. Uh, it did seem like they they all kind of like were ignorant to the fact that there's I'm sorry, there's ignorant to the fact that there's all these things because it's like. This is random plague going around, and this woman doing random shit, but no one seemed to be super weirded out. It was like, oh, this is Stay random. Stay in your house. Yeah, we don't know what's going on. It's like, well, what do you mean? <laughs> there has to be some footage of this shit happening, and no one knows what's going on. It, yeah. it just seemed like too, too, like he said, like, uh, like they're supposed to be kept in a but they they weren't they weren't doing a good job at keeping stuff under wraps. Mm -mm. But at the same time, no one seemed to know this whole natural unnatural world existed. Outside of the the, the vamp the, the the vampire wrestler Hellboy, and a anthropomorphic pig walking around yeah. and killing people for some reason, and then these giants that apparently just hunted all the time. They, they no, live, yeah. yeah. Like so, yeah. no one seemed to be none the wiser at the same. You've been hunting giants for sixty years, you know, <laughs> so like the normal. Yeah, it was it was kind of strange. Um, like yeah, see, they, what did like I said like like B plots that whole like we need to kill Hellboy thing just kept getting it got old by the end of the movie. Like we get it. Everyone wants to kill Hellboy. Also, <laughs> everybody um, hates Hellboy. <laughs> the Hellboy, what had made Hellboy, uh, you know, stand out, which is his arm. Guess what? Never addressed. He never addressed his arm. He, um, they, was, they 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 went back as far as they showed that he was a demon, as far as uh, of a human woman and a demon father. But they they skipped the part where they said they had to cut off his arm and, and the father put the the fake the big arm on him as a weapon. Like they missed that part of the story. It's weird that they just omitted that part. What bothered me about the arm if you saw if you saw Hellboy stand up, his hands aren't symmetrical, <laughs> and that might be in the comic. But like it felt like in the other movie at least, like mm -hmm. if he pulled both his hands up, and granted his other hand's much bigger, it, uh -huh. it was like on the same part. Whereas this one is like if he had all his hands. One hand would go from here, and the other one would be like way up here. <laughs> oh, well, that that could have been makeup as well. Like they couldn't. Yeah. Make well, it makeup. Like, it just looked really strange to me. I mean, that's something that there was a couple things that stood out. Yeah. But, yeah. Overall, the <laughs> ultimate backdrop, like the ultimate backdrop, the tone they were going for. I actually liked the villain that they didn't make her so like kind of. They didn't play it out like the the elements they had in this had potential. It's just the way they wrote it out and connected together yeah. is where they lost it for me. And, and some of the special effects. So the the villain for me did too little. That's true, you yeah. you showed you showed some of her power when when she was attacking her own people to show her you know I'm the big boss you know listen to me. But in regards to Hellboy, I, I she wanted to be she wanted she wanted him to be the king, and they were going to be together and live happily ever after and rule the world or whatever. And I I didn't like I didn't like how Hellboy had this random ass change of heart because he met somebody and he says, Oh no, not all monsters are bad. Some of us are good too. Then he's trying to he's trying to push that he was trying to push that point where it's like, well no one where where, where was this your whole life did you think that? Like you've been fighting monsters for X amount of years, you got a gun at ten, you're out hunting trolls, whatever it is the story he tells. When did this some lady tells him, you know, I'm not here. I'm your. I'm not your enemy. I'm your. You know, essentially your friend. And then he says, "Okay, well now I'm going to be like pro monster, and I'm not going to go against that." And that that weird 
turn, non-turn that he was fighting for no reason, his inner monologue, the, the half of the movie, really did not. They really pissed yeah, me off. Yeah, it that didn't play out. Oh, it, like I said, like the backdrop was there. It's just like the story was. It felt like like in the other Hellboy movie, they, they did a better job at like kind of pacing. Like pacing, yeah. The, the pacing <laughs> of that, like those events, like why are we killing all monsters or mm -hmm. like you know. That emo that that almost emotional like realization like maybe yeah. we've gone about this the wrong way. Oh, it was almost there in the old one. This one they kind of like just one random day like oh, I have changed heart and then changed back. Yeah, I I, I I like I get what they're saying, but it was just like it's just like the, yeah. How come just one day he just came up to this point? Um, but they said like I I I ultimately feel like if I had to give this a rating out of ten, I would give it a six. Uh, very problematic and when it comes to some of the effects the story wasn't well paced or connected together but the backdrop of it I actually like the world they were showing like I liked how the monsters were mm -hmm. okay well, <laughs> the fact that all the monsters showed up and then disappeared away <laughs> real quick yes. for the queen was a little weird but I, I actually liked how the, the monsters looked uh, the style of it the pig kind of got annoying it is weird that they had that one they focused on that one monster the whole movie but I like the backdrop, like the universe was set in. Like it, it kind of worked for me. Mm -hmm. The girl with her newfound powers kind of worked for me. I mean, they made her too badass in the end. It's like okay, yeah. Um, the, cou the cougar cop. <laughs> the cougar cop was kind of. <laughs> it was kind of goofy, but yeah. I think what really also it fell a lot of times the jokes. They tried so hard to make this laugh. Mm -hmm. It's like, like I don't know. That just I didn't hear Emily, but you laughed in that theater. <laughs> Yeah, no, but but like I and it wasn't even the jokes. It was that like stuff I just thought was funny. Mm -hmm. uh, I do that sometimes, but the jokes all fell flat. Like it was trying, and I give it that. Like I said, I, I like the world it was in, but it was just it just didn't quite get there to me. Um, I I'll, I'll go a step far. I'll, I'll go. I'll give it a five and a five out of ten. If you were give it out of ten, I'd say five. Uh, I was disappointed by this movie. I went in very hopeful. As I'm the more positive person out of us both, <laughs> and I, even though I, I, I saw a title headline, the headlines of the reviews out and about, I'm like, no, I'm not going to read it. I, I'm just going to go my own opinion. Yeah. And just based on the way it felt after the movie, I was like, I, I am not having a good time here. I'm not having a good time, and, and it sucks too because David Harbour is is has so much potential as as Hellboy. Um, you I saw. Think, you, I don't think he did a bad job. Yeah, you saw. Except he yelled way too goddamn much. He was you, always yelling. <laughs> you saw it at the end uh, the introduction of Ape Sapien. You know, my favorite character, one of my favorite characters from, from the original Hubby movies. Um, and then you saw a a mid and a post credit scene. Mid scene was the mid. Uh, I guess oh, fuck it. The mid scene was him getting a pep talk to man the fuck up and go handle yours in the world. The the post credit that was a mid credit. The post credit was of I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be the Nazi that didn't die in the first one. You know, the, the first Hellboy. Yeah. I think I think that that's the the deathless guy. Yeah, because it really implied that there was that Nazi dude because he was there, right? Yeah, he or, he was in the, he's the Ras, flashback. They had a Rasputin and um that Nazi looking dude in the flat uh, flashback. The flashback, yeah. And then like they kind of just panned away from it, like oh. And that happened. They might have died, or maybe yeah, I maybe mean, it's kind of like. And then over here, it's like, wait, wait, what happened to those dudes? Like, I recognize those dudes from the comics or from the old movie. Don't like, mind yeah, that. Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll yeah. come back to that later. So, <laughs> I mean, so it was like hinted at that maybe they're the new bad boys or, you know, coming up. But I don't see this getting a sequel just because Sadly it's Sadly, no. Sadly, no. I don't think it is either. On. But I honestly, I, I, like, I like when studios try something new and different. And to me, what see what really what hurt this was the fact that they swung for the fences, ran out of money, and then like like the writing like whoever wrote the overall plot was good and it's like okay I think in Act One we should do this, Act Two this, like okay cool. And then it was like they that dude who who wrote that plot to connect it all together had died and they're like, Well how is he gonna connect it together? Like I don't know, just make it hat work and so they, some yeah. dude was like, Okay, well let's make this weird thing happen. Oh, let's try to kill him. Yeah. yeah, it's like well that doesn't well, but it's just fine. Let's just go over it, and that's what it felt like to me. They, there was just some miscommunication. If they had a better writing team, better special effects, I thought it would have been a, like a knockout movie. Obviously, you can say that for any movie. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So I, I uh, my final thought is I think that it's not gonna get a, it's not gonna get a sequel. They had a good idea on paper, but I don't think it should have been put through the system and actually made a movie. There's no. I don't think there's a reason for help another Hellboy movie. 
Um, and I, I'm not sure who... I, I'm, I'm not, I wasn't really looking forward to another one. I'm glad they made one. It was a good try, but it just didn't, it fell flat for me. Yeah, I, I like the universe. I like the idea behind it. it. There was a lot of things that fell flat, but a lot of things I liked. Ultimately, I would actually hope this would at least make its money so it got a decent sequel. I actually I honestly feel like they'll make a sequel. It's just going to be like straight to DVD and it's going to be like not the original. It's going it's like to change the entire cast and yeah. it, then it's going to really suck. But I, I like what they tried. I, I really like that. I mean, you know, you don't get an A for try. I guess you do it nowadays, right? You get an A for an effort, but yeah, um, it's just, it was like a a six out of ten, which is like almost like in some cases, in some schools it's passing, but in most schools it's not. Better next next time, no, better Hellboy next time or something. I don't know. All right. On that note, uh, we shall, uh, you know, tell us what you thought in the movies. If you uh, watched it, let us know in the comments. <laughs> if you didn't, then it's understandable. I, I sadly, I don't think there's gonna be a big opening for this movie, sadly. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, if you if you did if you did if you liked it if you thought you know if you thought we were wrong, please tell us in the comments. On that note, we will see you later. Peace.